and welcome to the very first episode of At Your Library. I'm your host, Franklin D. Neely. And with the help of some super knowledgeable people from the Los Angeles Public Library, I'm going to let you in on some of the fun, exciting, and interesting things going on at LA's smartest hotspot, the library. Now on this first chapter of At Your Library, we're going to explore the many ways your library serves as a center for your local community. At your library, there's a community center filled with Angelinos you're sure to have something in common with. I'm talking about not only the Central Library downtown, but also the massive network of 71 individual branches all over the city from the South Bay to the Valley. Each one packed with so much information, entertainment, multimedia resources, and live events, it'll make your head spin. But don't take my word for it. Let's check in with Fontaine Holmes, the city librarian for Los Angeles. Hi, Fontaine. Hello, Franklin. So I see you there in the rare books room of the Central Library. I want to thank you for joining us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, Fontaine, I have to tell you, when I was a kid, I was always a little scared to walk into the public library. It seemed like such a hush-hush place, the type of place you can get in trouble just for walking in. But here in Los Angeles, our libraries have experienced a complete renaissance, haven't they? Yes, there's really been a transformation of the Los Angeles Public Library. Uh, in 1986, there was a, a major fire here at the Central Library, and it absolutely galvanized the city of Los Angeles. The people in Los Angeles approved uh, bond issues uh, totaling $317 million to build new public libraries. People really care about their libraries. I think the architects were very responsive and we did not build cookie cutter libraries. These libraries are unique, they are different from each other and literally if you walk into Little Tokyo Branch it says something about the Little Tokyo community, and that's different from what the Sherman Oaks branch says about Sherman Oaks. But it's not just the buildings that are new and diverse. I mean, is it my imagination, or is there more going on in terms of cultural events? Last year, we offered more than 17,000 programs at the Central Library and 71 branches. There are programs for all ages and all interests, from toddlers to adults. People can find a program, an exhibit, uh, a lecture, a club meeting that uh, is of interest to them. I know I'm looking forward to checking out some of these great library events. Thank you, Franklin. I'm glad that you're going to visit our libraries, and we invite everyone in Los Angeles to come to the Los Angeles Public Library. Thanks, Fontaine. You know, we wanted to find out even more about why the LA Public Library has become such a popular community meeting place. So we asked our on-the-spot reporter, Andrew Tarr, to do a little research. He decided to track down librarian Kren Malone at the High Park Miriam Matthews branch. Kren is practically an encyclopedia of knowledge about LA's premier community information, education, art, science, culture, and entertainment center, the Los Angeles Public Library. Let's listen in. This is the Hyde Park Miriam Matthews branch of the LA Public Library. Oh, hey, Alex. Hi, Andrew. Hey, is Kren here today? Yeah, she's right inside. Hi, Kren. Hi, Andrew. This is Kren Malone. She's the senior librarian here. Uh, so I understand you're going to give us a little tour, is yes, that right? Yes, I am. This area is our picture book area. It's for our younger patrons, and it's also where our GAP volunteers read to the children. I see you have a bunch of cute little animals here, stuffed animals for the kids. Yes, we do, and the children are welcome to play with them. People come here not just to read or do research, but you have a variety of other events here. Exactly, for different community activities. So it kind of sets up the library as a meeting place, a place for people to get together. What kinds of events and classes and opportunities to learn as a group does the library provide? Well, for example, the Central Library offers the Allowed series year-long, which gives patrons an opportunity to see authors and different programs be presented. Allowed at Central Library is an ongoing series of programs with leading figures in the world of literature, art, and ideas. The presenters that appear at these popular Allowed events include poets, novelists, scientists, educators, performing artists, environmentalists, journalists, political figures, filmmakers, and the list goes on and on. Things that you can count on, you know, um, like looking in the mirror and, and there's a disappointment that you can count on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's the way I feel about the government. When I wake up in the morning and read the paper, I mean, I read the paper and go, ah! <laughs> 
Um, we've been putting up posters since 1986, and that's a long time. Mon I like Monica. This is her mug shot. <laughs> Allowed is just one of the great cultural programs presented by the library. There are plenty of others as well, like the Zocalo Public Square series and the Saturday Afternoon Lecture series, plus all kinds of other one-time speaking engagements, far too many to mention. But if you're wondering who will be at the next Allowed event, this will be a good time to write down the L.A. Public Library's web address. It's www.lapl.org. But we've only scratched the surface of the many, many ways your library is the world's most dynamic community center. This is a Jefferson branch. The librarian here thought ahead and put out a whole bunch of books about knitting. Style your own kids' knits, you know, knitting book for kids' stuff, and a crocheting book over here. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the difference between knitting and crocheting. Uh, do you know the difference between knitting and crocheting? Yeah, the difference is that you use one needle, it doesn't matter what size, and this, you use two needles, and they come out differently. You're knitting over here, is that right? Yes. And what are you knitting? I'm knitting a baby hat. You're doing that one stitch at a time, huh? Yes. And did you learn how to knit here, or did you already know how to knit? I learned how to knit here. So you learned here also? Yes. This one lady, I saw her doing it, I've been wanting to do it for years, and then I found out about this class that was, you know, for the community on Thursday, so I had to come. Good for you! And then, all right, I'm, 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 catching, I'm catching on to this. You're a good teacher. You can get hooked on this. Well, actually, no, you, you get hooked on crochet, you get needled on this, is that right? I have just learned how to knit, and you can learn how to knit by coming to this knitting class, so come on down, it's a lot of fun. If there's something you'd like to learn, check out the library. With the right combination of books, instructional videos, and hands-on classes, there's nothing you can't learn to do if you just put your mind to it, or even your body. Maybe you'd like to increase your energy flow through Tai Chi that you can learn over at the Chinatown branch. And exercising your body along with your mind can even bring out your inner artist. The children's sculpture class over at the Will and Ariel Duran branch in Hollywood has the kids stretching their arms and legs before stretching the clay, and it seems to work. Let's check out some of LA's future sculptors. Tell them to stop. Exercises. With yoga stretches, yes! You're gonna stand up. If you need to, wipe your hands off on your quads if you need to. Shake the shoulder. Knees. Wrist. Down. Take a little bit of your water and put a few little drops because the clay likes to be kept damp while we're working with it. What are you making? A snake. And what kind of snake are you making? I don't really know yet, but maybe a python. How are you going to make sure that this python doesn't bite you? <laughs> Please. I guess she's not worried. Do you promise that your clay animals aren't going to bite me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I guess we're safe here. I was a little nervous. These, uh, these are some pretty dangerous animals these girls are making. <laughs> what are you making here? A bear. Oh, a bear. You're making a bear. Can I see him? He's got big paws. Is he wearing a hat? He's wearing a birthday hat. Ask the librarian at your local branch for ideas on how to get your kids interested in learning. When kids find new interests, they can even inspire us adults to get into the act. Maybe you want to learn a new language, or maybe you just want to find out how to start a new business. The sky's the limit and the library is your launching pad. One of the ways that we go about promoting the resources that we have and the plethora of programs and activities is through our library event calendar. Our library event calendar offers all of the different programs and activities that all 71 branches, including Central Library, offers. This is, a, this is amazing. There's all kinds of fun stuff going on. Is there any restriction to if I want to go, let's say, to a branch in West L.A. or a branch in East L.A.? I mean, can I go to any branch I want? Yes, you can. You can go to any branch that you want to. You can go, you can attend any program at those branches. And you can use your library card at any of our 71 branches as well as Central Library. So my library card is not limited to my branch. And that's the whole idea of what we're offering as far as Los Angeles Public Library. We want to make sure that everyone feels welcome here at the branch. Any branch around town. So I can borrow from one branch and return to any other branch. Yes, you can. 
Well, thanks, Cran. You have a beautiful library here. You're welcome, Andrew. Come back and see us anytime. I will. Thanks for joining us here at your library. I'm Franklin D. Neely. See you next time.